My name is Dr. Tanya Harrison, and I am the manager of science programs for the federal arm of Planet Labs. Planet Labs is a commercial Earth observing company that has built over 400 satellites in the past eight years and currently has 150 in orbit, collecting over 250 million square kilometers of imagery every single day. We have the largest fleet of Earth observation satellites, and we use them to monitor change on our planet on a daily basis to look at things like the effects of climate change and today looking at some of the effects of COVID-19. We are thrilled to be able to share our data set with you for the NASA Space Apps COVID-19 Challenge in the hopes that this data will help you unlock some of the keys that we need to help us recover from this crisis that we're facing today. The first thing you need to do to get access to planet satellite imagery is to sign up through our form at go.planet.com slash space apps for us to be able to set up your account. We just need a little bit of information from you to get your account going. And once you've submitted the form, you will receive an email from Planet later, letting you know that your account is ready to go. And then you can start using Planet Explorer. Welcome to this tutorial of Planet Explorer, which is our graphical user interface for browsing for and downloading our Earth observation data sets. When you go to planet.com slash explorer, you'll be greeted with a login window where you type in your email address and password, and then you can click login. Once you're logged in, you'll see this global map of the Earth, and you can navigate through it the same way that you would in a lot of other mapping software or websites that you might already be used to. You can click and drag. If you have a center scroll button on your mouse, you can use that to zoom in and zoom out. You can also use the plus and minus buttons over here in the lower right to zoom in and out as well. If you want to search for images, you can do this by either navigating by flying around to the places that you want to look at, or you can type in a specific location in the search bar here in the upper left. You can type in the name of a city, the name of a landmark, the name of a country, or even a specific address. These should all come up here for you. So since we're over the Bahamas already, let's zoom in here. If you zoom in, you have to draw a search box manually. And you can do this by clicking this draw or upload geometry button at the top on the right here. This lets you draw your area of interest in a few different shapes, circles, polygons, or rectangles. I tend to prefer rectangles myself. So you can click to place the first edge, click again to place the second edge, and this will search for all of the images that we have available in this rectangle. They'll show up over here from most recent to oldest, and they're sorted by date. So we can see that on May 21st, we took 19 images of this location inside this box. If we click on that, you can see highlighted on the right, each of those individual images that were taken as part of our image strip. Each single image, each one of these is called a planet scope scene. And we can see all of the separate ones here. Now you may want to filter some of these searches and we can do that with the filters tab here. Here you can select which satellite you want to see images from. In this exercise, you have access to the rapid eye ortho tiles and the four band planet scope scenes. So I'm going to unselect SkySat Collect for this. You can also change things like the percent of area covered by the images in the box that you've drawn, the amount of cloud cover that you want to see. We have an algorithm that can automatically detect clouds in images. And so if you want to see images that are, let's say, 50% cloudy or less, you can move these sliders or you can type it directly into these boxes. There's also some more advanced options down here that you could take a look at if you're used to playing with satellite image data. But let's go back. You can also filter by date using the dates tab. 
This defaulted to February 22nd to May 22nd of this year, but you can change this to go all the way back to 2009. And you should see images as recent as the last day or two in most areas that you search for on the planet. So you can change this range. You have to actually click on these manually. You can't type the date range in. So if I wanted to look from February 1st of 2016 through today as an example, you click and those have been highlighted and you can hit save and it will redo your search. Now to actually download the images, you'll want to click on either the separate dates that you want. If you hold down the shift key, you can select individual dates or you can shift select a whole line of them. You can also go into the individual day and select only scenes that you might want for that specific day. So for example, maybe I don't want this particular image in my download because if we look in the right side of the view, it doesn't cover very much of the box that I'm interested in. So I'm gonna deselect that from my order. And now I just have these ones. So once you've selected all the images that you want to order, you click on this order items button. You are capped at ordering 100 items at a time, so if you tried to select more than that, go back and break up your selections into smaller orders. So I'm going to go back and say that I'm only going to download May 21st for this order, which is 19 pictures. If we click that, then it's all good. Give your order a name. And then here you can see all the individual images that will be in your order, all of the individual scenes as we call them. And then you could probably ignore this panel here unless again, you have some experience with working with satellite images and everything gets to you as a GeoTIFF, which is an image file that has geographic information in it so it knows where it belongs on the planet. And then you can select place order. This will automatically pop up this tab on the right side of your screen. And if you click on orders, you'll see the order that you just placed. It can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours for your order to be put together because these images are stored on the cloud. And so they need to be activated and packaged up for you in a zip file to be able to download. You don't have to sit here and wait for this to finish. We will send you an email when your order is complete with a link to come back and download the data when it's ready. And those are the basics for getting started with downloading our imagery. For more resources on how to use Planet Explorer and some of our additional tools, as well as looking at satellite imagery, we have the Planet Developer Center at developers.planet.com, where you can find all of our documentation, some help links, and links to our support pages. I hope this was helpful to you. I wish all of you the best of luck in this challenge and go out there and save the world.